In January 2023, Danish artist Ole Akiar moved to New York City with his family in preparation for this exhibition. Though it wasn't without a hiccup. When I visited him at his downtown studio in February, he told me that some of the works got damaged. Oh, this is the summer. This was more or less finished, done. Then I came in this morning, I put them on the floor to go and look at them. And then uh, there is a terrace up there. Then the water came up and the rain started drinking. When I came the following morning. But that didn't slow him down. Today, April 27th, is the opening of Influenza, a Chase Contemporary Gallery in Soho. Ole, first of all, congratulations. Thank it's you. a Thank big you. show that yeah. you've been preparing for how long? <laughs> well, actually, we started planning this uh, in August last year, so it's about like eight months or something. So it's a long process and uh, it's nice to be here now. The name Influenza, can you please tell me what inspired the name? What's the show is about? Well, it's, it's actually, you know, the word Influenza. The, the, on the social media, we talk about people who influence each other and like uh, uh, it's a completely new industrial uh, thing. And, and then, then, then I think, who actually influenced me? And that was like, like for instance, Frida Kahlo or like Pablo Picasso. Or where did the influence come from? So, so, um, so that was like the theme for this exhibition, like trying to figure out which of all these artists has meant something special to me. And then um, I, I, I knew that would be an interesting road to follow, but I, I didn't know that it would lead to, to an exhibition like this. And actually something funny happened while doing it, because, you know, being here in New York, and it's like, this city has some of the world's best art museums, like MoMA and the Mets and Whitney and all that, and, and perhaps more than 1,000 art galleries. Then, but but that, that is the fact, on Manhattan there is so much art. But what, what touched me the most is actually the street art, the graffiti, the, the way the the streets are like reborn every day. It's like uh, the, the street art is so resistant and so raw and so strong messages about life. The pieces are even signed by the artist and they will never go for sale. So, so, so like the motive for doing art is different than in the gallery. Good night. Good night. So, so, so it struck me that the, the motive for doing art is different in the street. So I actually I think it's, it's, it's like the people's art. It's not snobbish or, or the money is not a driving force. It's just people need to do art and to speak out about their life and, and uh, important issues. So maybe you'll walk me a little bit through the exhibition and tell me about yeah, your favorite pieces. Yeah, like this piece, for instance, it's like a tribute to Japanese ink. I always find great inspiration in, uh, in the, like manga or like, like some of the, the, the artists you see here. It's, it's sort of, you know, I'm into watercolor and ink and they are into the same game. A piece like this, I actually went out in the street and sort of tear down old posters and stuff I found in the street and took it to my studio and, and sort of like created this big collage and then start drawing on top of it, adding my own stories onto the top of these like old materials and, and graffiti and and commercial posters. And, and now it's, it's going into some kind of symbiosis, like this become like a tribute to the street, to the street art and to the inspiration I get from that. 
and also the messages like forget your ego, remember your soul. It's so, some people might say it's banal, but it's still, it's true. So I think the, 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 the street is like falling in and out of love and that is my tribute to the street. I think there is a lot of like tragical messages in the street. I saw, I saw a, 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 a street art piece uh, say it was like a little boy and then they say don't deport my daddy. And, and I was touched by it. It was like, what is going on here? Is something real? It's not political correct. It's like messages from real life. So I think street art is raw and unpolished and, and the artists are not doing it for money or for fame. It, they are doing it because of the need of expression. And is there help? Is there help? No, I don't think help this is coming. This is why we love him so much, because he's the best. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I think help is in yourself, and I think help yourself. Try to be good. Try, I believe, I'm a strong believer in karma, trying to give something good, and, and trying to create some beautiful stuff and bring it out in the world, and, and be good, like Johnny, be good. That is my motto. So this exhibition is like, it has been like really nice for me to sort of give back to some of the, the very important artists that has inspired me and to the street and to the cartoon and the fashion industry and all the creative people out there inspiring me all the time. So. I hope people will enjoy it. The exhibition is on view through June 11th. From New York, I'm Jane Greaves.